morning, welcome to Thursday morning prayer. Uh, my name is James, I'm the curate at Woven St Margaret's. Um, it's great to be leading this time of prayer once again. Um, you'll need a copy of the liturgy to follow along with. You'll be able to find that in the description box below this video. Um, it'll look something like this, but an online version. Or you might already have a print version at home. Um, grab that uh, and then we'll just leave a moment of still before we begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. And let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So we say together, Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will uncover you with feathers, with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honour him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. <clears throat> we say together our Gospel Canticle. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. 
and you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. You, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Our Gospel this morning comes from Matthew's Gospel, uh, chapter 7, beginning to read uh, verse 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. For everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, because he taught as one who had authority, not as their teachers of the law. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For our time of intercession prayer this morning, we're going to follow the three pointers in the liturgy. So we're going to pray for the day and its tasks, for the world and its needs, needs and for the church and her life. Uh, I'm going to lead us in very short um, pointer prayers, I suppose. Um, but if you want to, um, why not pause the video? You can have a longer prayer time yourself or ring someone up and pray with them over the phone, maybe. So let's pray. <clears throat> and Lord, we lift this day up to you. We thank you for the amazing weather that's set to uh, happen today. I pray for each of us that we'd be able to enjoy that weather. God, I pray your uh, hand of blessing over each and every thing that we've got going on today. God, whether that's work or um, yeah, whether we're just at home once again and the days are all blurring into one. I pray that we would know your presence with us today. Amen. God, I lift up your world. I ask that you would be ministering to those in our world who are most needy. I particularly pray for Yemen, where the famine and the strife seems to be spiralling out of control. Would you provide for those who are most in need today? And would you give government and aid agencies um, breakthrough in their urgent and desperate attempt to feed and help those who are most vulnerable today? Amen. And Lord, I lift up to you our woven church. Many congregations united under this one identity as, as woven. And, and I thank you for that. And I thank you for that that means that there is diversity. But God, we look um, to you to make our churches look more like you, God. To make our churches reflect more of who you are. And I do pray for uh, Lydia, who's moving tomorrow, to come and lead at uh, St Leo's, pray your blessing over her as she travels, 
God, I thank you for what um, you are doing amongst us. And we ask for more. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for joining me this morning. I uh, pray that you would have a great day and um, see you again soon. Take care.